Welcome back tubers. It's time to head back out to the farm and do another install. 10 months ago, I removed the smaller 24 volt DIY power wall I built and installed back in August of 2019. Then we replaced it with my best ever DIY build, my 48 volt 25 kilowatt hour DIY power wall, created exclusively from recycled 18650 cells from laptop batteries, along with a 5 kilowatt hour orient power inverter charger. The old system was used as the sole 240 volt energy source for five years and is still working effectively when we decommissioned it in order to upgrade to 48 volts. As such, that old system has been sitting on a shelf for the past 10 months. It's time to reinstall that. So, we're at the farm now. Let's take a look at the new install, have a look at how much power it's produced, and then let's go down and install the old install. Making this a third life DIY power battery install. Welcome back tubers, back at the farm. So this battery, I think it's been in service for about a year, maybe more, I'll leave some details below. Uh, it's run flawless. It looks like it's done about 1,330 amp hours of um, discharging the old Orient power inverter. I love it, it just works, and it works really well with this battery. So let's open it up and take a look inside. If you have a look at the battery management system, it's all very balanced, it's doing well. Of course, that is in part due to the Batrium VMS, which is this um, dashboard that you can see here. And it also has the Heltec or Heltec Active Balancer. Now that Active Balancer is actually controlled via the battery management system, so it doesn't run all the time. It only runs when it's really high state of charge. It doesn't run all the way through the range of the batteries. Um, I still don't think it's necessary. I don't think it has. I don't think it has any benefit on this battery being of this quality. But you know, it's there and it works. Let's take a closer look. The only real issue I can see here is leaf matter and gecko poop all through the bottom of it. Uh, and we've got a daddy long legs living in here. I think he's probably going to be going hungry. But the batteries look really good. Uh, unlike the last battery, there's no sign of rust or, or corrosion or anything on those cells. Uh, I think that's actually just light. Yeah, so they're looking really, really good. The battery management system is sitting in there, running, doing its job. And of course, we've got the shunt trip and stuff in there as well. And the Heltec BMS doing its job. Have a quick look up here. I don't know what we can glean from this. Uh, there we go. We've got, we've got the two strings producing power, 50 hertz, uh, outputting 230 volts. The battery is at 55.6 volts. Uh, we're at 4% load. Kilowatts input is 120 volts on one solar system and 242 volts on the other solar system. And it shouldn't be doing too much. I don't think that's actually um, accurate. I'm not sure. I don't think it is. 6.2 kilowatt hours today, apparently. So I think we're going in the wrong direction. But there we go. The inverter is still working strong and doing its job. Which I'm very happy about. I was skeptical at first, but I'm loving it so far. Anyway, let's take a look. Oh, wait a minute before we go. Mental note of how many amp, a mental note of how many kilowatt hours is actually being produced on this battery. Got the old battery at the farm that I took out a few months back, or maybe even a year or so ago. All the electronics, a little cabinet here. We're just going to make it into pretty much a maintenance charger so we can keep all the batteries for the equipment uh, fully charged. One PCM 60X sitting there, one battery sitting there, an inverter on the outside. 
it's only got to work. This one's not a pretty build from Pete. This is a functional build from Pete. We got the solar there, so that'll go straight up the wall. The solar panels on the roof. Maybe we'll do some different versions. For the kids at home that are watching this mess. You can't hear anything. For the kids at home watching, uh, this is screwing into this tin, which is only like a millimetre thick, but there's a bit of plate steel behind it. So it's two mil, three, was it two or three mil? Three mil. Three mil plate steel all the way down along the back. So that gives a bit of a thermal barrier between the steel, the steel and the shed, and then whatever else is inside there. battery management system is all up and running again we need a new fan we haven't got any output from here because we've got nothing hooked up but we've got 240 volts up here uh, we've got comms to that which is good so that's all working one small problem our PCM 60x down there and we've got another PCM 60x here and for some reason right here uh, we got some magic smoke coming from here and this is reading 65 volts. There is nowhere that that is 65 volts. So some, a crit has crawled inside of there or something has gone south with that one. So we'll put the spare up and see what happens. Okay, the spare is in and it's working. 1.4 kilowatts from three kilowatts of solar panels on the roof. We are good to go, which means once the electrician gets here to do the 240 volt, we're done. We thought just out of curiosity, this is the one that we smelt the smoke from and had 60 volts and it was showing what, 129 volts or something image here um, of the solar, but the solar was turned off. So something short circuited, but there's no burn marks that we can see quickly. Of course, reviewing this footage may indicate something to me. Uh, but these two inverters have been... How long How long have you had the battery installed? Four or five years? Five years, six years, yeah. Something like that. I'll, again, I'll have a look at when we did this video, or initial video. But these inverters have done a lot of hours out here. Oh, not inverters, sorry, charge controllers. So that's the one that we haven't tested, and that's the one that is broken. So Sparky quickly just visited. Uh, he hasn't finished inside the shed. He's gonna got a circuit breaker and stuff inside the shed. Uh, it's looped back out to here. So we've got a GPO out here. There's an old used one. We've got the battery management system. That's all up and running. Uh, we've got the circuit breakers for there. We've got the breakers for the Watchmon. Um, unfortunately, I think I shorted out my shunt. Inverter's working. Fan's a bit noisy as you can hear. The batteries are all hooked up. Uh, we are yet to finish up the roof install, so we've just got the cable hanging there for now. So all the panels on the roof. Don't mind all the stuff in the middle, we're still testing. But the solar panels have one hell of a view. Um, all this is coming out again and that's going to get painted. That's a good piece of plate steel. It's three millimetres thick, so a good bit of plate steel. The battery's in there, nice and safe. We're charging at 930 watts, 32 amps, and we got 28 volts. And we've seen 50, 55 amps before, so that's all it's maxing out. This uh, unit itself, uh, we still gotta put some bungs in here. We didn't order those. There's a few little things we've gotta tidy up. But apart from that, YouTubers, thank you very much for signing in, and I will see you on the next one.